This playthrough is rated E10+. Alright, it's time for us to become a Master Smith and let loose the weapons of war. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn are back here with another episode of Summon Knight, a swordcraft story. In the last episode, we chose the boy over the girl, because boys are clearly better. And uh, we, well, learned about the world of uh, Weistern and that we're becoming a craft knight and we've got to win a tournament to become a craft knight. You know, typical shonen anime stuff. You know, it'll, it'll have all the tropes, but that's fine. But anyway, we're, we've also got our guardian beast who's going to help us along the way, so now we got to find the materials to make our first weapon. What'll it be? Let's find out. Where should we start? Master said that he was going to teach me a new technique before the first match. Star? Sure. Let's go ask Master. Ah, uh, you, you add so much to the conversation. You, Claru. Oh, Master, I was just about to go see you. The folks from Central Tower have arrived. Behave yourself. Hello, hello. Greetings, Claru. I have a delivery for you. Here's your Labyrinth Key. Why'd you put in quotation marks? No. Uh, Labyrinth Key received. Da we got the key. Show this key to the guard in the first floor of the Central Tower and you can enter the Labyrinth. I must get going. Excuse me now. <laughs> I, you know, I don't have to be here anymore. I'm going to my own planet now. Goodbye. So this is the Labyrinth Key. That Labyrinth under the Central Tower is a treasure mine for craft knights. If you're gonna be a skilled crab knight, you gotta find your own materials. That's all I gotta say. But I heard that there are tons of summon creatures and stray summons protecting the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit Parista from evil in the labyrinth. Isn't that right? I'm a bit scared. A skilled crab knight needs to be a master wielding weapons as well as making them. You gotta be able to handle 100 or 200 strays by yourself. You've gotta be kidding me. He's not kidding. You're gonna be a craft war guardian of the Holy Spirit Parista, right? Either way, if you ever end up becoming a crab lord, you'll be going to the Shrine of Barista every month, located in the depths of the labyrinth. If you can't make it to the Holy Spirit, you'll be shamed as a crab lord. Shame. For shame. I guess you're right, Master. Anyway, the battle's already begun. Get with it, G.I. Joe. All right, let's begin. I, Master Braun, will teach you the techniques of crafting weapons. The very first weapon that you're going to craft is this. We got a technique. So... What the game calls techniques in the game are basically blueprints. I don't know why they call them techniques, but whatever. So, our sword is our first technique. Wow. Wow. I'm nervous. This will be my first time crafting. But you gotta pop that cherry someday. Don't be nervous. You got Zantac to assist you. Star. Now, let's see if you remember the basics of making a weapon. Uh, I don't remember a thing. <laughs> uh, I don't remember a thing. Yeah, what have you been listening to? Uh, all right, I'll teach you this once more. Don't forget this time. Yes, master. Step on your left foot. Don't forget it. First, collect items that can be used as weapon materials. Next, heat and smelt the items used in the forge and separate them into four kinds of mineral ores. Uh, which one's the forge again? <laughs> What's an airport? What the? Look, this is it. This here is the forge. This big thing you've been staring at every day. Yes, I get it. <laughs> He's really mad. I better watch what I say. Well, you know. I mean, you're supposed to be a smith, right? Getting back to the subject. Then use the right combination of ores for each weapon technique and combine them in the forge. Smite them all into shape with your hammer to complete it. You got that? Yes, I'll give it a shot, Master. First things first, go get yourself some materials. Go buy some iron ore at the iron shop this time. Huh? Aren't we supposed to collect materials in the labyrinth? I, that's correct, but we're gonna head in there without any, were you gonna head in there without any weapons? That would be very tough, punching people to death. Hey, I've seen it done before. Well, you gotta make a weapon first. The biggest reason I told you to buy them is cuz iron ore is on sale today. I see. The price is 10 bone for each. Bone is the currency in this game. That's, that's cheap. Here's some cash, now run off and buy as much as you can. There'll be hordes of bargain hunters for the sale. Hurry up and get yourself over there now. Couldn't this brought to be, been brought to my attention yesterday? Yes, master. Hey, we got three on a farm for our efforts. All right, let's go buy some iron ore. But will we head over there immediately? Yeah. Hey, let's see if anyone else is. I think there's a couple of other princesses here, but uh, let's see. I don't remember every single room with every single character, so you'll have to forgive me. So. Yo, are you Claire, the heir of Shinetsu? 
Nice meeting you. I'm Kazio. I can, uh, you can say I'm your rival of yours. This is my workshop. You're free to visit me anytime. Yeah, you're a rival, but you don't have a portrait, so yeah, we'll never see you again. You're not important, so. Oh, well. Not everyone has to be important, so. It's trying to fill out the world, man. Fill it out make it feel useful. Hi, I'm Trish the Apprentice. I hope you'll be good friends with me. The forge is this big iron pot, right? We can decompose items and the materials here. Oh boy, we're never gonna see you again, Trish. Sorry, you're sir not appearing in this film anymore. I mean, you will be appearing, but not not important NPC. So, all right, Clear, aren't you pushing it too hard? Take a rest on the bed in your room to recover your health. Your guardian beast will recover too. Yeah, there's no there's no help, um, there's no ends in the game, so you just go straight to your bed every time you want to heal, so you don't have to worry about spending money on that. The item will always be spent on materials and stuff like that, so and other things. Have you already made a weapon? You must now equip it for use in combat. You can equip up to three weapons at any given time. You can switch these weapons. You equip during combat. No, oh, yes. I know of such things. There's a forge chamber for everyone to make a weapon. There, let's see what they have to say. Did you learn the different types of weapons yet? Yeah, I know, but we'll go over them again. No, not yet. I suppose I must explain. There are five types of weapons. First are swords. These are offensive type weapons that prize for their speed and agility. Next are axes. Weapons of this class can strike fatal blows. Unfortunately, the weight of the axe also slows it down. The third type, spears. Their shapes and size vary. Knuckles are next. Light and easy to handle, but not very strong. And the final type is the drill. It grants you special ability attacks, but it's quite difficult to use. Yeah, that's true. Got all that? If you need a refresher, come back and ask me again. I say my favorite weapons are probably either the drills or uh, knuckles because of their. They have an uppercut ability that can basically stun people, or that basically can push people to the wall, and then you can just uh, stun attack them uh, multiple times and uh, and beat certain enemies pretty quickly. So. Oh, Clairu, you got yourself a guardian beast. Guardian beasts can support you in battle with magic spells and items. Of course, they do so only when you give them an order. Guardian beasts can't use spells or items in combat unless they are equipped. A guardian beast can equip up to four spells or items. Okay, so let's take a look at that. See if our... Uh... Okay, equipment-wise, we don't have anything to equip, so we can't do anything with that right now. Support-wise, right now we have the Enchant Spark spell, which what that does is it gives our weapon a elemental of, of lightning. So certain weapons or certain enemies will be affected by that. I don't remember every single enemy's weakness. Most times in the game, you can just beat the crap out of them and it works just fine. But, um, so, I mean, I'll try to point out elemental weaknesses when I can, but I'll admit, uh, it's not as important in this game, really. At least I didn't find it as important, but I'll try to keep, I'll try to be aware of it. This is a Master Bronze Room. All right. Any more suggestions before we leave? What are you dabbling around for? Get over to the item shop and buy that orb before it's too late. Well, we should go over there and buy it before it's too late. However, I'm going to get distracted. Water scooters are handy vehicles. They move swiftly with the water. If you want to ride on one, just walk down the stairs near the waterway. Careful now, you can't climb out of the water if there's no stairs. Ah, uh, uh, I'm restricted by the laws of physics and in-game requirements. No, uh... Uh, let's see, I think that's the same. Uh, if you're looking for the item shop, it's the first structure across the bridge on your left. Alright. Hey, do you like running? You can move faster by running. Use the B button to run. I read that in a book somewhere. Yeah, just hold down the button. I've been doing that before, though, so. Do you know why we need guardy beasts? It's because they're valuable partners for crafting and fighting. You can make stronger weapons with their help. In battle, you can have them protect you with their spells. That's not very everything about them, but they hold a special meeting to all craft knights. Okay. Like I said I'll talk to people on the way, but I won't I won't go super out of my way unless I can remember a specifically interesting character. Weistern is famous for its craftsmanship, especially weapon crafting. Some people refer to it as these swords. It doesn't look like a city sword. Shouldn't there be like statues or monoliths with big swords poking out? I heard there are many contestants entering this tournament. Do your best out there. Are we gonna meet all of them? No. Master Sakura, the craft lord of Sapphire, is so cool. I wanna be just like him. That makes me his first fan, and you can be a second. Uh, we're not starting a fan club, dude. Are you a craft lord candidate too? Only the best craft knight can become a craft lord. I'm amazed that a child like you was chosen as a candidate for a craft lord of Weistern. Hey, I'm, I'm like 14 years old. That's considered an adult in anime terms. You know something? Every year, Weistern sinks just a little bit into the sea, just like Venice. Or the Eiffel Tower. Or not Eiffel Tower. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. The reason why the city is always under construction above the third floor is so we'll be ready to migrate to higher ground with the four, four, lower floor sink. Couldn't you just move, though? I know it's not as easy to move, but still. If the 
labyrinth, you'll, in the labyrinth, you'll find various weapons and items that can be turned into weapon materials. But the labyrinth is full of stray summons, making it hard for us to find the items. Yeah. They, the the, uh, the, the uh, enemy encounters in this game is a little high, so. But luckily, it's easy to run away, so. Do you know Master Corrin? She's the craft of Ruby. She's beautiful and cool. I like her so much that she can ask me anything she wants. Anything? But anyway, before we uh, go to the shop, the shop was that little item thing with the two item bags. Let's go in here. Have you seen a cat around? I'm looking for one for my dear little granddaughter. Uh, maybe we'll find one. Why can I create a weapon in a day? It takes patience and persistence, effort to protect the art. Except this is a video game, so it will take less than a day. It takes an instant. I want a kitty, but mommy won't let me. My husband loves to pose, but he's always scolded by Master Broad for his lack of patience. What do you work for Master Broad or something like that? Anyway, let's find a let's find a kitty for this uh, little girl. So to do that, let's go up here. Everyone gets so starstruck when they talk about Sakura or Kora, but the only real craft lord is the late Master Shinetsu. He had the style and the look. I'll be rooting for you because I know you'll become just like Shinetsu. Talk about nepotism. Everyone expects you to be just like your dad. But anyway, if we go up here, we go to the harbor, and we find a, a cat. Meow. So let's see if he can get rid of the, the poor flea bag. Because of my job, I have to move out of Weister. I feel a great loss knowing that I can't bring my cat with me. I wonder if some kind of person will be willing to take care of it. Yeah, well, all right. Now that we found the cat, all we have to do is talk to him to instigate that we've set that uh, dialogue in motion. We head back to the old man. Have you seen a cat around? Okay, yeah, same dialogue. Yeah, at the port. Ah, so a young man at the port was looking for someone to take care of his cat? That's wonderful news. I'll go look for this young man a little later. Here, you can take this as a token of my appreciation. It's a technique I used when I was a craft knight. There we go, new uh, fist, uh, new knuckle technique, so very nice. All right, now let's go to the item shop. We'll get more techniques later, but I I'm just trying to get them as I go along, so. Anyway, this is the item shop, so. Just when I thought the shop was restocked, all the materials are sold out again. Aw, oh, man. It's just like grocery, it's like when you go on sales for meat at grocery stores. The meat goes out almost instantly if it's on sale. Equipment items. Equipment items aren't worth the dime if you don't equip them properly. Where do we equip them? On the fourth slot, of course. You don't know where the fourth slot is either? Just take a look at your equipment menu. I've already shown you that earlier. Have you fought a stray yet? When fighting enemies with higher levels, you'll be awarded bonus experience points. If you're ever knocked down in combat, I press, I rapidly press the A or B button to stand back up. I'll show you that when I get to it, so. Yeah, that's a random looking girl. I wonder if we met her before. Okay, I bought the materials I need. Now I can go to the dungeon. Huh. Yeah, that's probably not important. Welcome to my shop. Um, do you have any iron ore here? Oh, I'm sorry. We just sold out of it. Really? I was just told about it, too, when I ran all over town and talked to random people. Oh, you're expecting me that's still here, not here? See the girl over there? I sold her all we had. What is she a, what is she a, uh, 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 <laughs> what is it again when people buy stuff and try to sell it at a higher, higher price, you know, so, um, Ah, uh, now it's escaping my, my brain there, so, uh, reseller or whatever. It's not a reseller, but, you know, so. Ah, she's a reseller. What? I'm afraid not. What are we gonna do now? We don't have enough to buy anything with the money we have now. Star? You're saying we should ask the girl if she's willing to part with some of her ore? Huh, what should I do? Well, might as well try. Let's ask her for some more. Well then, let's just ask her. She'll probably be the nicest character the whole game. She'll give me some. We'll owe her maybe a small favor. It'll be fine. Hi there, I wonder if you wouldn't mind selling us some iron ore. What's this all of a sudden? You, have I met you somewhere before? Oh yeah, I think she was at the tournament, or at the meeting for the tournament. Ah, huh, I remember you now. You were there at the opening ceremony? Oh, so you're participating in the tournament too. It appears so. Huh. I was just surprised that someone as spaced as you had the guts to enter the tournament. Whoa, lady, where'd this come from? What's that supposed to mean? Just as I said, but I'm not going to sell you my iron ore. You're a false slowpoke. I don't have time to mess with you. I'm going to the labyrinth now. See ya. Wow, what a witch. Great, what should I do now? Star? Yeah, let's go discuss this with Master. Maybe he can give me a suggestion. Man, I can't believe she bought all the iron ore. What does she need all that for? You only need, for the basic weapon in the game, you only need to break down a iron ore, and that's what you get. That's all we need, actually. It's Bupkis. Anyway, let's talk to Master again. Hey, you're back. Did you get the materials? Actually. 
what? They were completely sold out to Mean Girl? Yeah, she saw that movie. That's correct. She said, I, I can't believe that someone as spaced as you can enter the tournament. Or something like that. Ah, uh, see. That's gotta be Sonari. Sonari? Ah, uh, she's one of my apprentices here at the Silver Guild and is competing in the tournament. Could you have told me about that, boss? Uh, man? Shouldn't I know who all the apprentices are, though? Anyway, she's a contestant just like you. I told her about the sales as well. How oh, come? What do you expect? You aren't the only trainee here. I gotta be fair, you know. You're right. Anyway, Sonari tends to be tough on others, so I can imagine that she picked on you, huh, too. But don't you think that she could have sold at least one of her wars? Nah, what Sonari did was correct. Correct? You mean being a jerk? You two are rivals now. The battle's already begun. In and out of the arena. Oh, great. She's a rival. Ugh. I should have smelled rival on her from a mile away. Yes. Well, there's no use worrying about that now. You're going to have to find your own materials in the labyrinth. Huh. Wait a second. You told us that's too dangerous to go there, there without any weapons. Can I at least borrow a... Shut your trap! If you want to be a craft lord, never ever say you're going to borrow a weapon that someone else made to go hunting for materials. But there's a bunch of weapons on the wall right behind me. I could take one in the dungeon. No one would know. Ugh. Besides, you already have the mightiest craft knight weapon of all. Please don't tell me it's friendship. Huh? Your hammer, of course. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought he was going to do some cheap, uh, like, sickening anime thing crap. This, this is just a hammer we use for crafting. Now, technically, shouldn't you not use your hammer because that would dull it or whatever like that? It's like a chef using his fist to, or fighting with his fist instead of like his feet or something like that because he needs his hands for cooking. Now, listen carefully. The hammer can forge not only a weapon, but also. Oh man! Now you're a man! A man, man, man! Huh? Isn't that right, Zantac? Star. Oh. All right, forging men, huh? Well, I mean, I've heard sillier things. All right, now y'all understand? Now get going. What? Hammer is now usable. Press the A button to use the hammer. All right. Yep. Now we have. Now we're basically the Mario Brothers, but not as cool. But yeah, we use the hammer outside of combat. Uh, I don't think you can interact with people with the hammer now because you just talk to them. So, but we can and when we hit the dungeon. So, so let's go into the dungeon. So let's show it off. Unfortunately, hammer is the weakest weapon in the game. Well, it, obviously, but it's also it's it can only be boosted up by your attack modifier. You can never make the hammer better. But the interesting thing about the hammer is it actually it increases your item rate drop if you kill stuff with a hammer. The only problem is it takes forever. So the the way to do it would be to uh, attack stuff with a weapon, then try to unequip it, then finish people off with a hammer to try to get the most out of your uh, weapon dro or item drops or whatever. So. Hey there, you must be a craft knight. Is there something you'd like to know about combat? I know all about combat. This, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it when we actually get into combat. Alright then, good luck and fight well. Looks like you have the key alright, but why don't you have any weapons? The labyrinth is way too dangerous. I can't let you go down there unarmed, even if you are a craft lord candidate escorted by a guardian beast. Come back after you're properly equipped. I have a weapon. Where? This hammer! My sh- <laughs> My helmet, mighty hell, or this spear, mighty hammer, or Captain Hammer, one of the two. That's a smithy hammer, isn't it? You need to take care of your tools as a craft knight. Weapons aren't the only things that this hammer can forge. It can forge a man. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the silliness of the humor in this game. I, I quite enjoy it. Did that work? You've got guts, kid. Those are bold words. Uh. Well said, if you're not willing to go, I've got no right to stop you. Go show us how far you can go with just a hammer in hand. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry, if something happens, we'll tell your folks how brave you were. Huh? Well, apparently, forging a man works on all men. Don't worry, if something happens, we'll tell your folks how- Okay, anyway, let's go to the dungeon. Alright, this is the dungeon. Or one of dungeons, anyway. Huh? What's that strange looking panel there? It's going green. I get, that must be the teleporter. But I don't think it's usable just yet. I like talking to myself. Yeah, you have to find other teleporters in the level, and it'll take you back to other spots of the of the teleporter, so, or other spots in the labyrinth. So, but anyway, what the, Sonari? You, you don't get it, do you? I repeat, I won't give you any of my iron ore to you. I never told you to give it to me. My name is Claru. Oh, okay. well, okay. 
So, Claro, you're going to, to the lab with just that hammer? Whose fault do you think that is? I couldn't make any weapon because I didn't have any iron ore. Or any iron. Oh boy, are you trying to tell me this is all this is my fault? Are you crazy? Crazy like a fox. <laughs> uh, I forgot he said that. This, this game gets me. Right, well, if you're that determined to get the materials, I might help you. I'll give you a quiz, and if you answer correctly, I'll give you the materials that I found earlier. Hot, uh, uh, quick quiz, hot shot. How fast do you, uh, does it take to keep a bus over 50 miles per hour, huh? And how can you stop it if it has a bomb on it? I forgot the whole scene for the movie. Sorry, it's been forever. Wait a second. Don't just make things up. Now, now. You don't have to thank me yet. Here's the first question. A female craft knight is greater than a male one. True or false? So if you want to get a free item from her, and really you can find these later, but I want to go and get this now to save me some uh, headache of trying to grind for one later. So if you don't want to mess with her nonsense, then just say what kind of question is that. You can just basically get to it. Uh, however, if you want the free item, we need a placator. So, realistically, in game-wise, there's no difference between ma male and female knights. Real life, there probably would be, because, you know, male, uh, men are technically st physically stronger, but maybe women could be more dexterous, you know, but we're not going by that standard. So, anyway, yes, it's true. A female one is greater. Correct. Now, here's the second question. A female craft knight looks cooler than a male one. True or false? It really depends on the game. I find male uh, male characters to be cooler, but like I said, it really depends on the game and the designer form and stuff like that. But to placater selfishness and arrogance, we need to see, say a female one is cooler. And by the way, this is the same if you're a male or female character, by the way. Boy or girl. I think a female one looks cooler. That's correct. You're pretty naive, aren't you? Dot, dot, dot. Now the last question. My scenario will be the one to win a tournament. True or false? Okay, so this one's actually different. If you're playing Pratty, the girl, then you need to say, I'm the one who will be victorious to win the matchbox. If you're playing as Claru, you need to say, the victory goes to Sonari to get the to get the item. I already spoiled it, sorry. The answer is Sonari. Yes, you've got it. You answered all the all correctly. You're really good. You have the nerve to throw away the pride of a craft knight just for a few measly materials. How pathetic. That's why men are so weak. Uh, I'd like you to... Never mind. I'm gonna shut my mouth. But a promise is a promise. I'll give the materials to you. Check it out. See ya. Hey, wait! What do you want? What do you want? I've got no more to give you. One more thing. If you don't have the will to win the tournament, why don't you just stay out of it? Why? Well, you must have a lot of friends. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, too much for you too, huh? Oh, well. Yeah, she's a bit hard. She's a bit hard to swallow, folks. By the way, I wonder what Sonari gave me. We get a matchbox. These can drop regularly in the dungeon, but this saves me a, a bit of a time getting something la uh, later, which will be in a few moments. Dot, dot, dot. Thanks. But anyway, if we open up this chest, we get a bandage. It's an item we can equip for support. Let's put it... I mean, I'm not going to use it, but it heals 150 HP, which right now that would completely heal us, so we don't want to use it unless we really want to. Uh, should get to that point, but you never know. But anyway, we got our first combat. So, yeah, the the uh, the R, uh, the uh, uh, turn combat rate is pretty high in this game. Like, you're going to run into combat almost every other second, it seems like. Okay, so, at the top of the gauge, it tells you what the enemy's name is and what their life bar is, as you can see with the little heart and the red symbol there. So he has 50 HP. At the bottom, we have the L, sim uh, we have the L which is our weapon. We have the R, which is our sub, uh, which is our uh, support item. Right now, we have our hammer equipped, and we have a shield equipped. If I press the right uh, trigger, I can switch to the spark weapon, and uh, and those little items on the on the R gauge are like our items we could switch to. We have got their self set to guard, and those little gems in the lower right corner. There's how many times I could use a special, a certain special abilities. Guard, you can always use guard as many times as you want, but if you're using like a spell like. Uh, the spark or the enchant or spark or whatever else spell Zantec has, those uh, gems will go down. And when you hit uh, no gems, you can't cast any abilities. Although there are some abilities you can only cast once per combat too, so keep that in mind. Um, on also on the bottom screen, you also see a, a red symbol for us. That's our HP bar. So as soon as it's zero, zero we're dead, and we have to re, uh, reload from a, another save part spot or whatever. Below that green that green bar there with the weapon symbol, that's our that's our uh, weapon durability. So since we have the hammer, the hammer can never break, so we don't have to worry about it. But if a weapon breaks, that's it. It's gone. 
Uh, so you have to resort to the hammer. So, yeah, if you make a weapon and you ran out of materials and you're in the dungeon you only have one weapon, well, you need to leave that dungeon because you have no weapons. But anyway, let's fight the guy. So, so to fight, we need to press the A button. So if we walk up to them, we can press this and we smack them. Uh, if we want to guard it, uh, his attack, let me show you off that. So we press down the B button and we'll guard it. We'll do significantly uh, di less damage. If we press uh, the directional pad, either left or right, double tap, we can di dash. How fast we go depends on how high our agility stat is. If we press up, we can also jump. So one tactic is to dash and try to uh, hit the guy from behind. Unfortunately, the hammer is a really low um, delay, so you have to hit it before you hit the ground so you can actually get a hit in like this. And it does a little bit more damage. If you hit a guy from above or behind him, it actually does do a little bit more damage usually. But anyway, let's finish this guy off. He's not that hard. These are just slimes, so they're really easy to beat. So, anytime we beat an enemy, we get experience, bonus if it's a higher level enemy, and money. So, there's our experience thing right there. Alright, so, since it's an RPG, in the future, unless we fought the enemy before, I will skip the fights and just show you either the end of the fight, or I'll skip to after the fight, or if I gain a level, I'll show you me gaining a level, but that's pretty much it, so... So that'll probably be have so a lot of the game will be fighting an enemy once and then skipping the rest of them unless I haven't fought that enemy before, so So let's keep going on. Alright, we fought two slimes there and we got 40 experience, so we gained a level. And Zantac gained a level as well. Weirdly enough, sometimes Zantac will level outside of you, so you might not have Zantac level at the same time. Now I don't know why they just didn't have Zantac level at the same time you do, because it's not I mean, technically you can get other companions, but that's like post-game stuff. So, uh, but anyway, so we got our level screen here. We got the level, what our level is. We got our HP, which is how much damage we can take. We got our attack bar, which is our attack level, which is how much damage we do. Our defense, what that affects is, it affects our, how much, how much damage reduction we take when we get smacked. And also our HP bar. So the more you put in defense, you actually get a bit of a HP boost. You still get a HP boost when you put it into anything else, but if you put it into defense, you get a bit more. And agility, which, what agility affects is how fast you move on the battle. Um, You'll get agility boot bumps like every other level, I think, but it's not by much. So if you want to be able to be faster, I would suggest raising your agility. If you're playing like an axe wielder or that's the weapon you're going to be using, I would probably suggest sticking to agility and defense because you're not going to be moving a whole lot if you're using the axe. Um, I'm not going to really be really using axes in this run, but uh, just to give you an idea. But if you're going to be using like um, uh, knuckles or drills, I would probably suggest you putting more into agility so you're a lot faster on the battlefield. But anyway. And we got a bottomless cup for defeating those guys. That's a material we can break down. Like I said, if you use a hammer in battle, you have higher chances of items dropping. If you don't, they drop regularly. So, Okay, actually, I'm going to show you another feature. Because uh, I want to do grinding off-screen. Uh, oh, we got to this without any more combat. Huh, I guess running maybe uh, 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 increases your combat rate or, or you know, uh, encounter rate or whatever. So, Huh, Sonari? Stars? She seems a bit different, though. A little more gentle. How can you tell that from behind? Are you staring at a... Uh, uh, never mind. Who's there? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you or anything. I don't mind. This place is a mine, so I won't tell you to leave. Really? Thanks. Oh, it's an aquarium or something like that. Look how beautiful this place is. I can see straight to the ocean. How pretty. It's like an undersea observatory. Uh-huh. My sister took me to this place a few years ago. I always wanted to come back here again. I wanted to make it here without my sister's help. So she crapped night too, I guess. That's why this place is special to me. Every time I come here, I can feel that I'm getting closer to her. You love your sister, don't you? I do. Well, I've chatted long enough. I should get going now. See ya. Huh. When she's actually not in the uh, competitive mode, she's actually quite tolerable. Ugh. She doesn't sound that bad. Well, until you get her bad side. Stars. Anyway, yeah, combat. So, I want to show something else off. So, uh, so you can actually run from combat. If you don't want to mess with these guys, all you have to do is uh, go to the side of the screen. This basically, if you play Tales of Fantasia or the early Tales of games, it's basically like that. It's a copy of that. So, but anyway, if we open this, just... We can finally get some iron ore, so we can now make a weapon, so we have to use the dang hammer. So, let's get out of here. I'm going to skip the rest of the fights, because, uh... Uh... Uh, I... It's... Like I said, it's really slow going. 
Yeah, I mean, you do get dro higher drops of the hammer, but like I said, it takes forever. So unless I get a high level, or if I want to mess with, like, you know, that stuff later on, I'll do I'll do that off-screen to try and grind for materials. Like I said, it's not super effective to use a hammer, even though it, that, it increases your drop rate to do that, so... And we want to make a weapon as soon as we can so we can actually, you know, fight stuff more effectively, so. Alright, now that we got the Iron Ore, let's head back to, uh, the Silver Guild and make our first weapon in the game. So we gotta just run all the way back. Alright, Braun won't say anything, by the way, so. Alright, so what we do is if we want to rest, we go to this bed here, press the... A button and we heal our MP and HP. We can do that as many times as we want. Here's the forge. So what we need to do is we need to create materials. You can actually break down weapons if you want to, and it'll give you. It won't give you all the materials they use to make it. It'll give you some of them, and there are other items you can get that'll guarantee drops as well. But we're gonna just break down items. All we need to do right now is break down. Uh, we can break down the bottomless cup, which gives us the uh, uh, water material. So there's five materials in the game. There's lightning material, fire material, wind material, and water material. Actually, there might be a technically another name for them, but that's what I call them, just for ease of use. Uh, there's also a final material. Uh, it's called, I think it's, it's either special material or material sphere or something like that. That's, that one's a unique drop, the one that was silver. It's a unique drop, and only certain uh, weapons will drop, uh, or if you break certain weapons down, it'll have it, or if you... Uh, uh, defeat certain unique enemies will also drop it as well. But anyway, we want to break down the iron ore. So, yeah, we want to do that, and it'll give us five water, five wind, and five fire. So, yep. And let's go ahead and break down the bottomless cup to get some water elemental. Okay, we'll keep the matchbox up. Alright, now we want to create a weapon. So, now we can create either a knuckle or sword type. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the special material needed to make the knuckle right now, so we'll have to wait for that later. But we can make the sword, and the sword we make is... It requires five fire and five wind, or five, uh, wind elementals, so let's uh, make it. Da-da-da-da! Alright, now we can get the novice knife. The basic weapon in the game has five attack, five defense, zero agility, and zero attack, and has fifty durability. So pay attention to durability on that. Like I said, you could possibly break your weapon if you're not paying attention, so it's finished! Stars! Hey, so you completed your first piece! Master! Let me take a look. I guess this will pass. I bet Zantac did most of the work for you, though. <laughs> I'm still happy. That's the spirit. Always remember that feeling, feel it, Claro. The satisfaction you can feel now is the drive that'll push you to become a good craft knight. Yes, Master. Yeah, there's Sonari. Well, well, I should have known it was, it was Claro making all the ruckus around here. I don't know if your theme is endearing or annoying, I'm not sure. What? It took you all this time to make your first weapon? Well, excuse me, princess. You can tell the people who translated this have the same humor I do. There's nothing wrong, but you aren't such a slowpoke. You think you could win with that kind of pace? Spirit, uh, exclamation point. Cut it out, you two. Yes, master. I, I guess I was unladylike of me. Claire's a bad influence. I'm the bad influence? Me? This lady's a, a manipulator. Hey, you two. When I say stop, stop! Yes, sir. Hello, hello. I'm here. Sorry to bother you, but... What do you want? I'm here to deliver the notice for Clary's first round in tournament. Uh, well, what'd I do? Well, I don't... Don't just stay in there. Hurry up and take it. Yes, here you are. Match notice. All right. The opponent for the first round is Chase from the Gold Guild. You can reach the battle arena for the first floor of the Central Tower. Speak to the official at the end of the hallway. We'll guide you to the tournament arena. Oh, there is something else you need to remember. Only one weapon is allowed to be used in the tournament. Therefore, please come equipped with your favorite weapon. Good luck. We only get one, huh? Well, I've got the weapon for that. Oh, boy. Shaves, eh? Well, good luck and do your best. Man, why she act like such a, a nasty jerk? You know? What's Chaves like? Uh, he's not that strong of a opponent, but with the weapon you have now, it'll be tough. You think so? Dot, dot, dot. I see. 
All right, I'll teach you one more technique. Really? You're mighty fat and generous today, Master. What? <laughs> I forgot you said that too. What did you say? I said you're really generous today. <laughs> but anyway, we want to take the drill type for this guy. It is really effective against Chaves. Uh, so is that, even if you're not going to be doing a drill sp uh, build on your character, I would just still suggest it, just because it'll make the fight easier. When you're ready, head to the arena on the first floor of the central tower. Go show them what you're made of. Dot, dot, dot. I'm getting a bit nervous now. Stars. Yeah, you're right. I'm counting on you, Zantec. All right. So, how do we? How, what do we need for the drill? We need... Uh, seven fire and uh, five uh, wind elemental. So, we need to go to the dungeon. We could fight Chaves now, but I really want to make that drill weapon. So, let's head back to the dungeon. We need a, Basically, what we need is we need a matchbox for the fire elemental. And we need an iron ore for the uh, um, the rest of it. So, Huh? What brings you here, Mom? I'm just checking to see how you're doing. Oh, it looks like you've decided on a partner. Star. Why, if it isn't Zantec, it's been a long time since I saw you last. Star. Mom, you know Zantec? Of course I do. Zantec used to be your father's guardian beast. Didn't Braun just tell us that? Or, or the summoner did? Oh, I see. With Zantec at your side, you'll be just fine. Hang in there, playroom. Sure. All right. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. Okay. Anyway, let's use that matchbox we just got. So let's go down here. And if we go into this building over here, let's talk to the people inside. I must make a delivery tomorrow. What am I going to do? I'm sorry about that. What am I going to do? My wife is at a loss since we're running out weapon materials. She just needs a pack of matches. Really? Can't you buy this at the grocery store? Would you happen to have any? If you do, you may I borrow it. Borrow it? You're not going to give it back. Sir. Are you sure I can have this? Thanks, you saved me. But th this is my wife's technique, but you're welcome to use it. Uh, should she give me the technique? May we get an axe technique for doing that? Very nice. Thanks, you really saved me. Thank you very much. Now I can make my delivery. Yeah, you need matches for that, huh? But anyway, we get a new technique for that, so. And if you can make multiple techniques uh, and fill out your roster, Braun will eventually give you new techniques. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make any more. It is possible, depending on the drops. Uh, but, uh... Sometimes I get pretty unlucky with stuff like that. But anyway, we want to go back into the labyrinth. Yeah, we could, uh, um, we could, uh, just go fight Chaves now. But like I said, I want to make this, uh, I want to make this, uh, uh, drill bit. So, uh, I'm going to get to the second floor off screen and just fight all the enemies. If I gain a level, I'll show it, but I'll be back in a second. All right, made ourselves to the second floor. <clears throat> I'll actually show off the actual weapon use now, now that we got some new, uh, uh, enemies here. So first of all, we got, well, obviously we got the slime, but we got a new enemy, Pumpkino. It'll basically just jump around the map and try to, uh, uh, attack you. So let's show off the weapon and how it works. Also, I'll show off, uh, my, uh, spell as well. So let's show off a chant spark. So you press the B button, summon a chant spark. And now power up our weapon. As you can see there, now our weapon durability is 50, and certain enemies will either drop it by one or multiple, depending on what it is. Uh, there is a certain enemy I want to fight, but unfortunately with the weapon I have, I can't beat it without my weapon breaking, so I have to be careful about that one. I'll show, if I run into it, I'll show it, but anyway, let's attack uh, the slime here. Yo, look at all that damage. Look at that. So yeah, if you want, if you can summon a chance spark, just do it even if the enemy isn't particularly weak to it. And yeah, to, with the sword, um, if you attack... Uh, with the A button multiple times you can do a combo. There's other things you can do with the sword, so let's show off. So you can press down to, uh, to thrust. If you press up, you can uh, also thrust and attack as well, but really big thing is uh, pressing down to thrust so you can get a bit of range on them. So. And the, the lightning ability does wear off after a while. And when it starts flashing, close, uh, when it starts flashing multiple times, it, it's about to break. So, ooh, we get some sandals. Not quite a level, though, so... Alright, let's uh, see. That should be a uh, equip. So, yeah, sandals are a plus one agility app. So let's go ahead and equip that. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to show it off, but you can equip your novice knife into the one of the bars here. So, uh, later, you do want to have multiple weapons. Even if it's a weapon you're not going to really be using a lot. Like I said, with the whole durability thing, you definitely want to have multiple weapons in your inventory. So, make sure to be aware of your durability and how many weapons you have. Because, like I said, if it breaks, the ice is going to break! 
All right, we'll just run for this one fight. But like I said, later on I will just uh, I'll I'll try to fight stuff on sc uh, off screen and just cut to when I beat it. So anyway, let's uh, get over here and smash these barrels. Anything drop? No. Oh, we got a broken fan. Nice. Uh, I forgot what all can drop here. It's like broken fan, matchbox. Uh, I think there's a couple other things. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll just run for that one as well. And every time you leave the dungeon, you can get those uh, those uh, things to respawn. So you can. So one way to do like get the early part of the game is to just go back here multiple times, break up, leave. But I'll show a more effective way to do that. So let's uh, leave this place first. So. Oh, here's the sword I'm talking about. It's the spell sword. So this thing has 120 HP. It does a lot of damage to your uh, uh, weapon. And because I already use my um, Enchant, li Enchant Lightning. I can't use it because I, you can only, this is one of the things you can only use once per dungeon. So, uh, I can't really, and the fact, I'll show how much damage I do to it. So, yeah, see, I don't, do, I will not do enough damage to finish off. I really do want to kill one of these things because they drops that special material as mentioned before. But unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the weapon to do it. But when I get the drill, I'll be able to. Anyway, we can iron over here. Oh, we got another new weapon, a gremlin. I think it's a wind elemental, if I recall. So, Probably should have saved that. Up. Oh no, it's a fire element. Never mind. I always forget sometimes. Like I said, I'm my uh, I my knowledge on the enemy types in this game is pretty low because um, a lot of the enemies you can just kind of beat without really notice, no, noticing the elemental difference. At least until later on in the game. Anyway, so anyway, we get a level. And we got uh, uh yeah, I'll just put in agility. There we get a matchbox. Nice. Uh, Zantic, uh, Zantic, I think, gains another spell at the next level, so... Hey, let's head on to the third floor. Oh, there's a man over there. Alright, let's, uh... Oops. Let's go down this way. I don't know how we're carrying our scooter around, but whatever. Whoa, 50 slimes. I'm totally unprepared for that. Well, I could have fought them, but, uh, damn. This will make it easier for editing if I run away on, uh, with stuff on, on screen, so... Eh, we can fight this guy, why not? It only takes a second, anyway. Oh, got a bombless cup. So, if it won't take too long, I'll show it. So, uh, because, like I said, it, I mean, yeah, I could edit it out, but I wouldn't save that much time. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Now, I'll just skip through that stuff, so. Alright, let's see if this any of this stuff drops. Ooh, we got another matchbox. Nice. Oh, well. I was hoping for more. Uh, yeah, I'll just run away from Guys. Oops. If they hit you while you're running away, it stops you from running away, by the way, so. Alright, let's see more barrels here. Ooh, nice. I should get not too bad on the, the material drops. Eh, yeah, we'll fight this guy. This will only take a second. Man, yeah, too bad I don't have a, a spark ability again. Oh yeah, and sometimes he'll get knocked down to the ground and you can't hit him while he's on the ground like that, so... Alright. I just this guy here. All the lower levels are inaccessible right now because of the ceiling caved in for the earthquakes. If you'd like to get out quickly, use the teleporters. That green thing next to me. We have to continue the story if we want to keep going down the labyrinth. Do you know how to use the teleporter? No, I don't. I, I do, but... Well, then I'll explain how to use it, so pay attention. There are green panels like this that throughout the labyrinth. You can use them to instantly teleport you to another location. However, to use the teleport, you have to actually go and smack it once with your hammer. Smack it with a hammer? You'll be able to teleport to any of the devices that you smack with your hammer. Stand on top of the device and press the A button to bring up the list of floors. Then select the floor you want to press and the A button again. There are also recovery devices placed around the labyrinth. Those look like blue triangles. They recover your HP and are very handy, so keep an eye out for them. So, yep, turn it on. Step on it. Go to the first floor. And so, if you want to grind for uh, techniques uh, at this point and materials, this is the way to do it. Because every time you, when you fill up your techniques that you've got so far, when you make so many, Braun will teach you new techniques. Uh, but I don't think I have enough to really make everything that I want right now. So, it would take quite a bit of grinding to make it. So, I'll save that for maybe off screen or maybe next episode or something like that. So, it's not imperative that I have a... Oh, wait, let me sleep first, too. It's not imperative, so I think I'll I'll make the drill and then go fight the chase fight. So, all right, let's go create more materials. So, let's uh, now we can break down the matchboxes. By the way, so yeah, break down the iron ore so we can make the uh, drill. 
Matchboxes give you three, or sorry, two fire uh, elementals, so why not? Bottomless cups give you the water as before. And broken pants give you uh, four uh, wind, so, which is very nice. But those, I seem to have trouble getting those drop. I seem to get more matchboxes than anything, but. All right, let's create a weapon. So you can create a, if I wanted to make another novice knight, if I could, but there's no point, so. And say, so I can't, I don't think I can make the axe. Yeah, I can't make the axe yet because I need the special material, which requires me to kill in that spell sword. Same with the knuckle, so. All right, so let's go ahead and make the drill. And that requires one water, five wind, and seven fire, so. Nice. All right. So now we got the uh, uh, knuckle, or the uh, drill, so let's equip that. Let me uh, put that on the main. I'll switch this to the second one. But yeah, the novice drill, as you can see here, uh, is a decent weapon. It's got really high durability, and it also has another ability based around it. One, it can stun a lot of people, and two, well, I'll show you when I go fight Chaves. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if see if Bron has anything to say. If not, we'll uh, head on to the tournament. So, oops. Okay. Oh, so since we made since we made a new item, we can make another type. Uh, let's uh let's uh have him give us a spear type. Whoa, not so fast. Go forge the last weapon I taught you before you move on. Yeah, since I made the drill type, I can, uh, um, he gives us another technique, so. Let's see what the spear one requires. Whoops. Whoops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Spear. Alright, that requires 10 fire and 6, uh, uh, wind. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in between episodes or something like that. Because that would basically require me going into those dungeons, avoiding all the fights and busting all those barrels, and that's not that's not fun to watch. So yeah, I'll try to I'll try to find a good spot in between episodes to do that if I really want to. So, but I've shown you what you can do to do that. So all right, let's go ahead and save it. Although I should not have any issue with this fight at all. So unfortunately, the problem with recording a GBA game is the minimal uh, save slots. So I will. I will have to figure out my recording setup a little bit better. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically gonna make a save at the beginning of the day and in the future and then make a save for in between. Like if I have trouble, if I feel like I'm going to have trouble with something, I'll save it there as a, a second slot. So that's how I'm going to do it from now on. So anyway, we can go talk to this guy. Prefer the Silver Guild? You may only have one weapon equipped. Return out after you've done this. So yeah, you can't have both of them equipped. So. They know, they know, they know. Anyway, we won't want the drill. So. Now, the next tournament battle is about to begin. Yep, I'm ready. We will now commence the fourth round of the tournament. Dot, dot, dot. Damn, he's big. I didn't expect him to be this huge. Master Braun said he wasn't that strong, but that's gotta be a lie. What am I supposed to do? Star. Will you be summoning your party of beats, Chase? I don't need no beast. I can handle this by myself. Why you? Why you little? Dot dot dot. Santec. Dot dot dot. All right. Are you both ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. As crab knights and Westerns fight with honor and dignity, the fourth round of the tournament chaves against Clearu. Ready? Begin. All right. It's boss times against Chase. So yeah, he's got a big old cloud sword. He's also got 190 HP and 70, uh, 70 uh, durability. How are we going to beat this guy? Well, we're going to beat his durability because uh, when you kill his durability, the battle ends because he has no way to fight because he doesn't have a hammer like we do. And the benefit about the uh, the drill is that it has two abilities. You can either attack with a regular thing, with a regular attack with the A button, or you can hold it down to charge it. However, for this guy, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to just attack spam him because he will always guard. And the drill, as you can see there, is breaking his uh, durability like really badly. Like we're not even doing that much damage to him, but because he keeps blocking, we will win based off his uh, his uh, uh, you know his durability. Look at that! I'm like hardly losing any durability for this doll, and we win. Yep, uh, this guy's easy. I mean, even if you didn't have the drill, he's not that hard. So I didn't have to use any abilities on him either. 
Alright, gain a level. And in Santec weren't Chain Spark. It's a lightning ability that allows you to attack an enemy on the field, so it's very useful. There anyway, we gained a couple levels for that. Woo! Alright, uh, let's go ahead and add attack to that. And we get a new and we get chase uh, a sword technique for beating him, so. Yay, we won our first tournament. Or first round of the tournament. I did it! I won! Stars! Thanks, Zantech. Damn it, this fight is no contest! What? Is this guy a sore loser? What? Neither the quality of his weapon nor his skill to handle it let him win this fight. It was all because of the Guardian Beast. No contest, no contest, no contest! I didn't even use the Guardian Beast, dude. Silence, Crap Knight Chase. What? Have you forgotten the Crap Knight Code? The three tenets of Crap Knighthood? A sword is not strength. A sword is not skill. A sword is not fellowship. Recite these words and think over what you've done wrong. But I used a drill. Okay. Now nah, I get the point. But anyway, let's have a nighttime scene. Aw. Now, the first time we beat the game, uh, beat the first uh, day, we talked with Zantac. However, all right, I managed to win the first battle. I'm feeling good now. Stars. Yo, Claro, you here? Yes, Master. Hey there, I heard you won the first battle. <laughs> yeah, are we celebrating that by any chance? Don't be a fool. You only won the first round. Oh, uh, besides, others around you are waiting to compete. Most of them won't make it past the first round. Yet even if they were to win, there can only be one champion. Dot, dot, dot. If you're going to become a craft lord, learn to watch your surroundings. Six outside your shell. I understand. Yeah, way to be a buzzkill, dude. With that, with that said, you deserve your celebration today for winning the first battle. Keep up the great work, Claro. Thank you, Master. Alright, so maybe it's not such a buzzkill. Alright, I guess I'll go for a walk. Where should I go? Okay, so, um, this has been kind of a staple of, of sum, or, uh, um, Summon Knight ever since the first one. Is that every... In the first game, it's not as defined as well, but in later games, you can actually earn, like, relationship points with characters by choosing them every time. I mean, it's kind of like that in this game, but it's a little bit different. Um, but anyway, you can choose to learn more about characters as you go. So you can either learn about Xantek or Sonari. Um, and there's other characters later on, of course. Um, obviously, against my better judgment, I'm going to choose Sonari. Um, some characters are more interesting to talk to than others, like Cuddy and Xantek are not as interesting because you basically just parrot back their, their dialogue back to them. Um, unlike uh, the fire or, or uh, water one, which actually have actual uh, actual language. But anyway, let's choose Sonari for this run. I'll go to the Undersea Observatory. So I guess we leave uh, Xantek on his own or something with it. We won the first match. Yeah, despite her being a, a nasty nasty witch to me, I choose to... to uh, maybe maybe I'm just a stepping stone, you know what I mean? Or uh, <laughs> an obvious. Maybe I'm a simp. No, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Congratulations. Huh? You, you guys won today, so I'm congratulating you. Uh, thank you. You saw us compete. Of course I did. I think you had a good fight. A sword is not strength. A sword is not skill. A sword is not fellowship. A craft knight's true strength can't be judged by just the quality of his weapon, the skills to use it, or by the strength of his guardian beast. Only when one is endowed with all these qualities can one be considered a good craft knight. You proved yourself today that you really are the son of the craft lord Sinetsu. <laughs> by the way, what brings you to a place like this? No particular reason, but I just... I was just recalling the time I met you here. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, she's shocked that someone wants to be friends with her. I see. Am I bothering you? Uh, not really, but I feel a little nervous. To tell you the truth, I've received the notice from my first match today. I'm really nervous. Why do I feel like you're going to win your turn, uh, your fight just fine? So I took a walk to calm myself down. Hey, Sonari acts pretty tough all the time, but she has a really cute side to her, too. Yeah, that's usually how it is. Why are you looking at me like that? You're grinning at me. I bet you think I'm cute when I get all girly, don't you? Guilty as charged, I guess. What, is she a mind reader or something? Well, some guys think that's true, but that's not. Whoa, how'd she know that? I don't mind. I'm not embarrassed by it. After all, I'm a girl. Yeah, I can see that. She's got big... She's got huge shoes. I'm going to become the cutest and coolest woman ever. 
Well, I've heard worse things to be t uh, to inspire to be. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it's almost like he's mocking her or something with that. You're a strange one. Y you think so? Say, I'm hungry. Would you like to come and eat with me? No, thanks. My match is tomorrow, so I can't afford to waste any of my time. Oh. That's what I should say, but I wouldn't mind joining you two for the company. Really? Are you sure? Yep, let me tell you something. No proper girl can refuse an offer of a good meal, especially if they don't have to pay for it. <laughs> well, most guys would. If, if guys were given a free meal, I would go too, so. Sonari's match was great too. She knows how to swing a sword better than the guys do. Really, game? But anyway, is it really? What awaits us at day three of sword, Summon Night of Swordcraft's Tale? Where will we go to next? What challenges await us? Find out next time in the next episode of Summon Night's Swordcraft Story. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.